There are a lot of items you use daily that are costing you way too much money. You can save hundreds, if not thousands, by making a few small adjustments and not actually changing your lifestyle whatsoever. That's what we're gonna do today. My top six places that most people can save a lot of money without changing anything about their lifestyle. I could tell you to cancel your Wi-Fi and all your streaming services and all your subscriptions and turn off the heat and eat only gruel and that will save you a lot of money, but Ugh. that sucks. Who wants to live that way? So let's keep you living in the 21st century with all of those fun amenities like Netflix and board games and indoor plumbing. My name is Kate Moody. I am your money librarian. You can call me Ms. Moody if you're nasty. Thank you, Janet Jackson. There are so many places in our life where we do not question the cost. We just sort of pay it. And often it's due to inertia. We set something up years ago and don't feel like dealing with it. Or we don't actually know that there's an alternative. My husband and I used to pay $130 a month for cell phone service. That's for two phones. And we paid $110 a month for internet service. I finally got off my lazy deaf, got us set up with a different internet service provider and cell phone provider, and now we spend $60 on each. That saves us $1,400 a year. Just those two things. So let's find those things for you. Number one, cell phone plans. If it's been over about three years since you've looked into your cell phone plan, or if you're with a major carrier, shop around, especially look at these small carriers. I switched from Sprint to Ting and I love them. Not only are they really inexpensive, but their customer service is so good that if anything goes wrong, I will call them and somebody who's like Canadian nice will talk to me with no phone trees. They just pick up the phone. It's amazing. Anyways, there's a link down below. It is an affiliate link, but they have been my cell phone company for years because I love them. Look into like Cricket Wireless, Republic Wireless, Virgin Mobile, Boost, Google Fi is a big one. Do a little research, save you a ton of money. Two, your internet provider. Mm. 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 It feels like there's no good options and I'm gonna avoid going on a tirade. Shop around. Check to see if other service providers are running a special and sign up. Get that. There are often fees associated with opening an account. Know that going in. But I was paying $110 a month and then the first year special was $50 a month. That saves me $60 every month just for that first year. And now it came up to $60 and I'm like, okay, fine. Also check your bill to see if you are renting your modem. That costs between five and $15 a month. And you can buy your own modem for like 70 to $120. There are some situations where you, when you do want to rent your modem, if you're in short-term housing, or if you just do not want to deal with any issues with the modem. And like, frankly, it's not really the kind of thing that breaks very often. If you're paying $15 a month for your modem, that's $180 a year, a year, get yourself your own modem. Check with your internet service provider first to make sure that you get a modem that'll work. Student loans, put them on auto pay. Save you a quarter to a half a percent. Plus, you don't have to pay them every month. They just come out of your checking account. Be sure though that you won't overdraft. That's important. If you are concerned that you will overdraft, do not do that one. Check your public library to see what they can offer. Usually you can get audiobooks, you can download ebooks, you can watch movies through some of them. So even if you were only spending $10 a month on ebooks and maybe $15 for an audiobook subscription service, that's $25 a month. That's $300 a year. That's a lot of money. Medications. One, shop around. The same medication will have a different cost depending on where you go. Two, if it's just as good for whatever medication you have, 
get generic. Check to see if you're getting the brand name or the generic one. Ask your doctor if the generic will work just as well. Three, insurance companies are actually pushing medication delivery and reducing your out-of-pocket costs for those deliveries. So not only do you not have to go to the store, but you also pay less. It's like a win-win on that one. Check to see if you can get your medications delivered and how much that costs. And lastly, your insurance. Probably have car insurance or home insurance or renter's insurance. Often if you bundle them, it'll save you some money. But insurance varies widely in cost. Ask your friends if they have insurance that they like. Ask around, call a few insurance companies, get some quotes. With this one though, be careful. You don't just wanna go with the cheapest insurance. Check the Better Business Bureau to make sure that there aren't a lot of complaints against them. Because when it comes down to it, you wanna be able to use that insurance if you need it. Those are my six items most people could change to save themselves over $1,000 a year. If you have one that you wanna to add to this list, let me know, I would love to hear it. I do love a deal. Put it in the comments. Please like and subscribe to keep these kinds of great videos a coming. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos for excellent tips. Bye.